Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today we're going to be turning corks into little people keychains. I call them cork dudes. So we're going to make cork dude keychains today. Now for this you're going to need a couple things. Most importantly you're going to need a cork. You're going to need a bead. This is a 20 millimeter wooden bead and it has a nice hole down the center. You're going to need a key ring. You're going to need some 13 16th eye bolts. Now you can use bigger ones if you want to, but 13 16th is the smallest you should go. You're also going to be using a one and three quarter inch screw, zip screw. Um, and then you're going to need some markers. You're going to need some duct tape, scissors, a glue gun, if you've got it and all. And then anything that you want to decorate your little cork dude with. Now I'm going to be doing mine in duct tape. However, you can use felt, you can use yarn, you can use lace, whatever you want to make your little cork dude look like, you, you get to choose. So it's up to you what, what materials you use. Okay, so for my cork dude, the first thing I have to do is make his body. So I'm going to start with my cork and my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my all here. If you don't have an all, don't worry. Cork is such a nice, forgiving, easy to use uh, material that you can just screw right into it. But I'm just going to use my all here to make a little hole. And then I'm going to take my bead and I'm going to slide my zip screw right through. And then I'm just going to place it right there in that hole. And I'm going to turn it with my fingers. Now, if you've got a Phillips head screwdriver or a regular screwdriver, this is the place to use it. I'm just going to screw that down so it's nice and tight, just like that. And now I'm going to take my little tiny eye bolt. I think this is a number 214. I believe is what the number on the package is. Now before I put this in here though, it's probably a good idea to put the key ring on just to make it easier on myself because once it's inside there then you've got to wrestle with the cork as well. So you might as well put it on now, slide it on there. And to do that what I did was I just opened up the part of the ring there and just slid it on. Now I'm just going to take this holding it with my fingers and just get it started in that all there and screw it into place. Now like I said you can use a bigger eye bolt if you want to but I found that this is the perfect size. It's not too big, not too small. And now, now you're at that point where you can really decorate this any way you want. I'm going to make him into a little person. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some duct tape here. I'm going to give him a shirt. Now if you, even if you wanted to, like what you could do is add a pair of um, pipe cleaner arms. I mean really this is, this is where you get to have as much fun as you want. Okay, so I'm just going to take this little piece of duct tape and wrap it around. When I do this I like to make sure that I am using corks that have already been used. Um, instead of buying brand new corks. And the reason for that is because brand new corks have a tendency to actually, believe it or not, uh, have wax on them. And it doesn't make them accessible for things like glue, tape, it just kind of peels right off. So if you can, make sure that you get used corks. I get a lot of questions, I mean, where do you get corks? You can actually get them on Amazon or if you want and find a local restaurant that's nearby you. Maybe go ask them if they wouldn't mind. So see, I'm just decorating him up with a few little things here. I think what I would love to do to make, make sure that he's uh, fully covered, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife in here to make this piece a little bit thinner. Um, I would like to cover up this on the top there. So I think what I'm going to do is that make that his hair. And so I'll cover that with, maybe give him purple hair. 
Okay, just wrapping them around. Okay, so see, now he's got a little pair of jeans on and he's got his little striped shirt. He needs a face, so I'm going to draw a little face with my markers here. Give him one eye, two eyes, and a little mouth maybe. I've got a couple of little examples over here where I kind of went to town. This guy's a little superhero. For him, what I did was before I actually screwed the head on, I put the cape on. It's just so that the cape is actually screwed in where his neck would be. And it just makes that stay nice and tight. Um, I'm going to give him blue hair. And what I'm going to do for his hair is I'm just going to take a little piece here and I'm going to cut some fringe. Let me move that out of the way so you can see. I'm just going to cut some little fringe with the knife here, the exacto knife. I'm going to peel that up. So I only cut the fringe on the front part. And I'm just going to use that and put it right in the front, like that, to cover up his little zip screw. And then I can cover the back part with a little bit more. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need, so I'm just going to fringe out a bunch of it here. That's probably more than I need. And put it around like that. There we go. And it looks like I'm pretty good there, just a little bit of extra, so I'll take that off like that. And there you go. A very simple, fun, cork dude keychain. And here's the thing about it. You can personalize these for all of your friends. You could make one a cheerleader. You could make one a teacher. You could make one a dentist. However you want to do it. For more silly ideas using recycled materials, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.